WCR Radio starts now. <laughs> You can call into the show at 724-444-7444 using call ID 30273-POUND. up guys and welcome to a very special Monday August 17th edition of WZR Radio here on WZRonline.com and a host of other websites. I'm as always Ryan Clark and we're going to be here for uh, about the next hour or two um, depending on how long my voice holds up. So we'll see how it goes. Matty B? Uh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, no, man, I came down with, um, I got sick last week, it was, uh, like last Monday, and, uh, I lost my voice, man, and, uh... Did you have it for your birthday yesterday, at least, or were you sounding like a retard um, yesterday, too? I sounded like a retard for the past week, man, and, oh, man. uh... Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it wants to wants to go away anytime soon. It gets worse every day. I mean, we had a plan last week because um, I got sick, and I, I couldn't do it last week, obviously, on Tuesday. It was real bad back then, and uh, I got sick, and, you know, the week progressed. And uh, we, got, we were thinking about Friday. Right, right. We were thinking about Friday, and then uh, we were actually going to think thinking about doing something over the weekend, too, Saturday. Even, I mean, just something that we could get up and, and put on the website because there's been a ton of of stuff that has been going down. You yeah, have, breaking uh, news uh, and events and you know, all kinds of shit, yeah. Yeah, it's just been crazy. So uh, we're going to try to get something up, but uh, it continues to worsen. And uh, we're here now, though, so that's good, right? <laughs> yeah, we are here now, though. We were right here. Uh, I knew I was going to hear it from you, man. It's horrible. It's horrible, and it, and it gets worse on a daily basis. Well, I don't know. No. You weren't lying, man. I wasn't, man. I told you. This poor you guys gotta you guys gotta know this. Man, Matty Boone has been begging me, basically saying, Man, I'm back. I'm on W Z R radio, we gotta do this thing and uh since fr- what was it, Friday, Saturday, Sunday you wanted to do a show, Monday. I think every day since Friday I've I've pitched an idea for a little like you know, even if like a thirty minute pre show for the pay per view last night I said Friday I said we should do a makeup show. yeah. I've been yeah. wanting to get on the air. Well, there's too much to talk about because if you wait too long, then half the stuff that we want to talk about is so old that people are like, you know, they don't want to hear about it anymore. So I wanted to get get to it before it was too late. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't have been here today, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I had to talk you into it today, too, yeah. I know, I know. But we got to get some of this stuff out of the way. So as long as my voice holds up, we're going to go here for the next hour or two and uh, run down the uh, past week's news, some big breaking news. And uh, a lot of MMA stuff as well that we're going to uh, run down, and then we're going to be here tomorrow night again at our uh, at our normal time slot of seven to nine Eastern time. Um, so we're going to do that show as well. So we got a lot planned here for the next few days. We've um, we've also got our live chat room set up wcronline.com forward slash chat. Lots and lots of people in there tonight. Unfortunately, guys. Um, for you guys that usually come in under there, come in there under guest names, um, I had to ban all the guests. We had some problems with uh, some spammers before we went live here. So I uh, temporarily had to block the guests, but you can go to username at talkshoe.com, register, uh, enter a username and password, and uh, you'll be good to go, wzronline.com forward slash chat. Yeah, there's a link on that, too, if you just go to wzronline.com slash chat. It says uh, sign in or sign up or whatever. Just click the sign up. All you got to do is just pick a screen name and put in your email and hit enter. Boom. That's yeah, it. it's real quick. It's real quick. They just asked you for a um, for just basically uh, a username and password, and that's it. It only takes yep. two seconds, and then you're set for a, week, for, for, you know, a weekly basis. You know what I mean? You, you Sometimes Mondays, whenever the hell we feel like it, you know, like today. 
I know, I know. Or Friday, we're going to do one. I'm going to try and talk into doing a little bit more often. I think if big stuff happens, I'm like, let's just do a quick show real quick. What's the big deal? Yeah, just little, little, little quickies, no doubt. If it, if like a breaking story or something yeah. like that breaks, no doubt. I do well, really it's ask. hot and people want to talk about it. You get on the air, let some people call in, shoot the shit, and have some fun. No doubt, no doubt. So how was the weekend, my man? I mean, work-wise, it was busy. Um, you know, financially, oh. I'm still recovering, as you know, and some of the listeners know. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm recovered from that, and then as soon as I get recovered from that, it's work time, and my God, from MMA to wrestling, there was there was events, big events, you know, everywhere you turned, there was another big event, you know, on the horizon. Right, we got SummerSlam this weekend, UFC 102 the following weekend, and there's a lot going on, man. Oh, dude, it wasn't uh, it wasn't the week or the weekend I wanted sick. to get sick. You know what I mean? I had uh, I had my birthday yesterday. And, Happy birthday! Uh, thank you, thank you. We. Uh, Threw a little party here on on Saturday night. We had the uh, the Strike Force pay per view, not pay per view, Strike Force okay. on uh, on Showtime, and then we had uh, the Roy Jones Jr. versus Jeff Lacey. Yeah, yeah. So at the head, we, uh, we also had UFC 100 going on Spike TV. I mean, it was a it was a a trifecta of of combat sports going on at the same time. I know. How about that? That's that's similar to the WCW versus WWF back in the day. Where exactly UFC, what it is. Yeah, you know, UFC is purposely counted. yeah they're purposely counter programming to try and you know lure away the the fight audience to their programming you know instead of watching you know the competitors so and I mean I, I, I haven't I seen the numbers yet but the last time they put a Brock Lesnar fight on TV was when he fought Randy Couture and that is the biggest uh, TV rating they've ever done for a non live fight special and it's beaten some of the live fight specials to be quite honest so I mean. They didn't advertise this one much, the the Frank Mir rematch with Brock Lesnar, because uh, they they just decided to put it on Spike TV like maybe a half a week before uh, before you know before they announced it. So yeah, not, it, not only that, not big. only that, but they usually they usually air. I mean, if they're going to counter program, I mean, UFC 100 was God only less than less than two months ago. You know what I mean? The last one. Was oh, not even. It's been it's been like one month, right? I mean, it was July. It was what was it? Was it July 12th, or was it... Yeah, it was July 12th, so it's like been exactly a month since... Well, yeah, I mean, we, had, we had UFC 101 just a couple of weeks ago, but the one before that, UFC 100, and it just seemed kind of quick to put that on free TV, you know? To, uh, I know why they did it, to counter to counter yeah. strike for us, obviously. But. I mean, I think that should be... I don't know. Maybe, I mean, I don't know how their replay, you know, their encore pay-per-view business does, but if for boxing... Yeah. I mean, even for the biggest fight in history, Dafi De La Hoya and Floyd Mayweather, the, two weeks later it was on HBO. Every HBO channel you turned on, it was on there. They do that every time they do a pay-per-view. They have the pay-per-view, and then a week or two later they put it on HBO and HBO On Demand, so you can watch it for free. So, I, I mean, that's, I used to have to do that when I didn't have a lot of money. I would just wait for the replay if I didn't really want to order the you know, the fight, if it wasn't something really big, but they put it on pay-per-view, so... Right, and you just brought up uh, Mayweather. Um, the you know, the Mayweather Marquez fight in September is going what yeah. head to head with that UFC paper. What is it? UFC one hundred four. One hundred three. Oh, it's uh, uh, one hundred three. It's Vitor and Franklin, right? Yeah, re, yeah, one hundred three. Uh, Vitor Belfort, Rich Franklin. I mean, that undercard. I showed you that the other day. My God, you got Josh Koscheck versus Frank Trigg, who's returning to the UFC. You got Tyson Griffin versus Armis Franca. Well, Mirko Krokop's on that card. That's a big ass card. And you said, and I haven't, I haven't looked it up since you told me that. I was just going on your word. You might be wrong. I don't know. Uh, you said that Mayweather card is the undercard is stacked, isn't it? Like, isn't there a bunch they of have, uh, uh, they have? Uh, what did I see? I saw it on Friday Night Fight. You said Rocky uh, Juarez is on the undercard. Rocky or? Juarez and uh, Zap Judah. Zap um, Judah. Yes, scheduled Jesus. to fight on that too. Yes, in Friday separate fights. Yeah, in separate fights. Yeah, no so, doubt. I mean, you got three main event names: Ab Judah, then Rocky Juarez, then Mayweather versus Marquez. And Marquez, a lot of people don't realize, you know, how how big a name that guy. I mean, he's universally ranked like number two in the pound for pound list, and has been for years. And I think when the HBO twenty four seven starts to run, when does that run? Does that start this weekend? Pretty soon, man. It's Next weekend. Soon. Yeah. Well, either way, when that starts, I think people will get into the fight a lot more because I don't think people realize. I think people think it's just a, like you even thought. When he first announced that it was a tune-up fight for Mayweather to get ready for Pacquiao, and it's it's not that at all. Oh no, Marquez is no joke, man. No, I mean, Marquez is a, is an awesome fighter. But it was funny because I was watching the on the Friday night fights in the uh, who's the commentator there? Um, the guy that sits in studio. 
Brian something. Oh, Brian Kenny. I wasn't listening. Yeah. Brian Kenny, yeah, Brian Kenny. He said something along the lines of, this is what every boxing pay-per-view should be like. You know Absolutely. what I mean? They should, yeah. they should stack the card. And when you order boxing pay-per-views, at least in, in recent years, I mean, there's no undercard. You know, never, you have a no. main event, and there's never an undercard. Sometimes you get, a, a like, a, a rookie B-level fighter that's undefeated that they're, you know, right. trying to make a star against a nobody, and that's the best you'll get. You know, it's not enough. Right. You know, I remember Jeff right. Lacey used to be the undercard a lot on, on major shows before he before he had that fight with Calzaghe, and now he's like a star because he got his ass whooped so bad. And, and again, this past weekend with Roy Jones, we'll talk about later, you know later. But, yeah, I, I think HBO needs to step up the game. UFC's coming, coming hard with pay-per-view lineups. Strike Force is going to be doing their thing with CBS and Showtime, and now they got Fedor, and they they got to step their game up, man. If they want to survive in the pay per view business with the economy the way it is. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Hey, we um we've got a live chat once again. WZROnline.com forward slash chat here for a special Monday night edition of WZR Radio. Just going to basically talk about the uh, the Hard Justice pay per view and the uh, MMA Good. event. Last I thought you were going to talk about the fight stuff because you said you just wanted to make it an MMA show, and I, I thought we should definitely talk about the TNA pay per view that just happened last night. And there's a that's all the news too, the Kurt Angle stuff. Everything's about that. The Impact tapings are tonight, so I know there's a ton of stuff. I think we're going to skip over last week's Raw. I know you saw that because no, there's talking. no reason to talk about that anymore. No, I mean there's no, a lot of that night. horrible or what was that? I mean that was brutal to we're watch. We're having trouble that. remembering it already. Oh, all the DX crap, the videos and. Uh, it was in Calgary, uh, Stars and Slaughter. Yeah, it was a it was a bad show. It wasn't good. What was the what was the point of of Stars and Slaughter being there to come out, trash the crowd, and then that was well, it? There was nothing at the end of the night with him. I you think know I, mean? I think uh, and they didn't announce Stars and Slaughter. Remember the previous week they didn't they, they usually announce the host. They make a big deal about it. And when they announced Stars and Slaughter, they didn't even do it. Gra- they just said right right as they were going off the air. Next right, week right. we'll be you know joined by Stars and Slaughter. So. I think it was just because they were in Calgary and they couldn't get any celebrities to come, and yeah. you know, he travels with them anyway. And and, and he's GI Joe movie just came out, and he's the big American guy, and they're in Calgary, so they can screw with the crowd that way, and it's fun for the live audience, I, I guess. And I they guess. did the Bret Hart fake thing with the music, and oh god, what are you gonna do? Yeah, but the thing it's with been, that is, right, it's I mean, been what twelve years now, and they still tease Bret Hart every time they go there. It's like Jesus Christ, get over it. I know, I know, and all the shots at the Canadian fans too. Yeah. You know? I mean, it was just shot after shot after. Celine shot. Dion. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and then it doesn't get any better tonight. We've got uh, who is it? Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie Prince <laughs> Jr. He's he's actually a did he. Why do I think he was like a writer for WWE or WWE.com? He was. Okay. He was. He was, he was he a is. former creative team member. Okay, so, I mean, that that's probably not a mark in his favor, you know, because <laughs> oh, I wouldn't right. want Brian Gouard toasting Raw or nothing like that. But, I mean, he's <laughs> he's famous. He's banged Sarah Michelle Gillard, so, you know, kudos to him there. He's been in, you know, the I Know What You Did. Like. He's a famous dude. He's a big fan. He's been on the other side of the camera in the business. And I think since this is the final show before SummerSlam, it won't be so heavily... Oh, we have a celebrity here. Let's make the whole show about it. I think I think it'll be a lot of DX stuff, a lot of SummerSlam, you know, finish finishing up the program for SummerSlam, and and then he'll just pop in here and there and add you know add add to it where he can. Yeah, yeah. I it mean, could be a good show. I'm thinking. I, I don't know. I, I'll reserve judgment, obviously, but I, I I hold high hopes for tonight's show. Yeah, we'll run down uh, Monday Night Raw tomorrow night, guys. Once again, we're going to be here tomorrow night, seven to nine Eastern time every. Tuesday night on WZROnline.com. Live, baby. Nah. <laughs> Not even going to try that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would love to hear an attempt, man. That would be great. No, we're uh, we're not even going to try that tonight. When the um, also also on Raw, real quick, DX, uh, the DirecTV people are promoting the Raw, saying DX is live in the arena for the first time in over a year or something. And the main event is John Cena and Randy Orton versus Chris Jericho and Big Show. Uh, that was a match made last week by Slaughter, so they'll have that tonight. Right, so 